Hello, thanks for joining another pronunciation video. Today we're going to start with something different. It's called the star method. The star method, what is it? S stands for situation, Ta T stands for task, A stands for action, and R stands for result. What's, what's the star method used for? The star method is a structure for you to effectively answer uh, interview questions. So for example, if your interviewer asks you, tell me about a time that you successfully resolved a conflict, you could use the star method to outline what was this S, what was the situation? What was the background of the conflict that you were resolving? T, task. What needed to be achieved? And what was the importance of it? A, action. What action did you actually take? And R, what was the result? What did it achieve? The STAR method is a very effective framework for you to answer interview questions. Okay, now we're going to move to our reading passage. This one is called Hide and Seek. First paragraph. In the wild, it often comes down to predator and prey, the hunter and the hunted. As you can imagine, most organisms want to stay alive. They have developed ways of adapting to severe habitats and hiding or escaping from those who would like to eat them. So how do they do it? One very helpful adaptation is called camouflage. You may have been surprised by an animal that was using camouflage in the past. It blended into its surroundings so well that you nearly missed seeing it at all. Its colouring, markings or other physical features resemble its habitat so much that you can look directly at it without seeing it at first. This is often good enough to fool a predator that is scanning an area to look for food. This helps prey to hide from its predator. But did you know that it often works the other way around too? Predators can use camouflage to trap their prey. If a predator wants to eat a certain animal, and that animal cannot see it lying in wait, it can pounce on its prey unexpectedly, devouring it before it even knows what is happening. Another popular adaptation is mimicry. Mimicry is when an animal has markings or other physical characteristics that allow it to look like some other kind of animal or plant. If it can make its predators believe that it is something that preys on them or would at least be difficult to pe or painful to catch, its predator will often go off in search of an easier target. Okay, now going on to the new words and phrases. I will say the word and then I will give an example sentence. Predator. Predator. The lion is a predator to other animals because it eats them. Organisms. Organisms. The ocean has many organisms of different shapes and sizes. Severe. Severe. There was a severe thunderstorm over the weekend. Habitats. Habitats.
sorry, one second. Habitats. Humans have many habitats. The house, the office, the hospital, or the sports field. Camouflage. Camouflage. John's camouflage made him look like a tree. Resemble. Resemble. It is common for the daughter to resemble the mother. Pounce. Pounce. My son likes to pounce on me when I go home. Devouring. Devouring. After returning home, we found John devouring his dinner. Mimicry. Mimicry. The comedian's mimicry of the American president was funny. Thank you for tuning into this week's pronunciation video. We'll see you next time.